Hello, everyone. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the top 16 of the Concordon Galactic Championship Qualifier. Super excited to be here with all of you. Let's go ahead and get into it. In all of our Galactic Championship events, we have done community team-ups with different content creators from around the X-Wing community. In this, this round and the next, we're doing a community team-up with the Fearless Gundarks. How's it going, guys? Excellent. Uh, pleasure to be here. Fantastic. All right. Now, before we break down the list, I want to remind you that this round and all of our rounds are brought to you by Curl Paw Creatives. Use that coupon code CONCORDON2020 for 20% off. Get your acrylic swag ready to go for when you can play in person again, or if you're able to play already in your locals, make sure you're doing it in style. Now, gentlemen, let's go ahead and break down these lists. Off to you, Nobby. Alrighty, uh, we've got on the Republic side, we have five Red Squadron Bombers. We have three of them with the Ion Cannon Current and uh, the Proton Bombs. Uh, and then the other two have the Plasma Torpedoes and the R4 Droid along with the Dorsal Current. So we've got like a little bit of an Alpha Strike there with the Plasma Torps. And we have a little bit of the control with the three Ion Cannon Turrets. Um, the Proton Bombs will be definitely handy in this matchup uh, to help kill those TIE Aggressors without triggering the slides. It'll be very interesting to see. What we got on their side? And on the other side, we have Captain Feroff in the TIE Reaper with Ruthless, Admiral Sloan, and a hull upgrade. And then we have, I believe it is five TIE Aggressors at Initiative 2 with Dorsal Turrets. So, two arc, two dice attacks. And when they die, they will give two stress and rerolls to everything else with Sloan. Now, a couple of, um, couple of thoughts on both these lists really quick. We actually saw this list, I believe, make, was it the final or the semifinal? The semifinal of Dathomir. So it is a proven commodity. Great to see the TIE Aggressor make another splash. And we saw something similar to this Y-Wing squad as well. The loadouts are definitely different. My question to both of you, because everybody at home, you guys can play Choose Your Champion. If you haven't done that yet, type exclamation point bet. Put a space, type one or two. One is a vote for the person on the left, which would be Samuel. Two is a vote for the person on the right, which is XY. Um, and then you put how many points you want to bet. You can check your balance by exclamation point bets. They're just It's just for funsies. And my question to you two is, if you were playing Choose Your Champion, where are you putting your points? Uh, for me, I would put it on XY. Um, just uh, not just the player, um, but I think the two dice attacks against two greens is going to net up better results um, versus the two dice on the one agility. So I just think he's going to be able to push through a bit more damage and win the damage race. As, you, as, mu you as much as I would love to say XY and support our um, Singaporean friends who have been streaming with recently, I, I think the... Y-Wings have it a, have a little bit of an advantage here, especially if they can remove um, the TIE Reaper fairly quickly, and it looks like they've got the tie firepower to attempt to do that. So, Fantastic. Yeah, the, uh... Sorry. yeah no, so... it's, it's going to be an interesting, interesting matchup. So question for both of you, where do you think our engagement's going to happen? Because right now, both players set up on their right side of the table. They basically just moved forward about the same amount of distance. Where, where do you think this first engagement is going to happen? Ooh. Uh, I, I have a sneaking suspicion that the Y-Wings are going to come down the lower board edge and probably try to turn in between the two rocks that are um, just ahead of them to the right-hand table edge. And XY's got a lot more open space to sort of maneuver around and get the engagement he wants. I, th I think I think XY's going to try and take up that open space over there. He does have all the turrets facing to the right, however. So um, maybe he's going to do he's going to head down there, do a four K, flip everything, so that the turrets are facing the right way. Um, but you know, it's also XY he could be employing mind games that have the turrets the wrong way because. Um, because I can and take a turn to, to change them. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I think he wants the open space. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So, now, one, one of the things I wanted to ask you guys a question about as well is the choice of weapon. The previous Y-Wing list that we saw make the, the cut 
at, at Dathomir had dorsal turrets on all the ships. Here we have some ion turret tech that are on three of these Y-Wings. How do you think that's going to face out in, uh, in this matchup? Uh, I think I think it's very good. I like it because it has the bombs in there as well. Um, the iron control um, to basically force them to know where they're going to go and have bombs drop on them means um, big swarm list or tanky list like that can can really you can really get maximum effect of um, out of your bombs. It means you know that you're going to have turns where you can get the guaranteed damage. Um, so it also improves the chances of you getting that one damage when with the three dice attack. So I, I, I like it. I like that change. All right, so we're getting yeah, XY I, moving three straight here and turning those. Interesting. They they allow a certain degree of control over your opponent's moves, and even though XY does have a, I think it's a medium base ship, the the ion the ion tokens don't clear away. So if he gets one on there, it's he can choose to not shoot the ion tokens and get it when he wants it. Well, potentially get it when when he wants it. Now, for anybody um, who didn't catch it there, we did see the TIE Aggressors turn their arc to the left. I, I think XY is definitely employing mind games here, because the previous turn he rotated them to the right. <laughs> so they're just sort of conga lining up, <laughs> up the board. That's, that's uh, mind games at work, I love it. So let's so, talk about Nobby. what what the what the turret direction can mean, right? So if you actually started with them on the right side, on X Y's right side, facing the top of the board, that would mean that when you would be expecting to turn in kind of shallow, like right away, and have most of the fight be to the right side of the turrets. If you're going to have them to the left, you're probably thinking about swinging out wide, right? That's a difference there. So. I, I've heard a lot about XY, and I think I've watched one or two of his replays, but never a live game. Um, I, I think it's definitely a good way to psych out your opponent, and if they think you're going one way because of where your turret is facing, mm -hmm. it potentially allows you to trick them and get them out of position. So, it's definitely an interesting tactic that we don't really see very often. So here we have the Y-Wings turning in. They've found an alley between those rocks on the right side. We may have uh, our engagement in that top left corner. Where did XY go? Nice and easy, one straight. Probably waiting to see where, uh, where those Y-Wings, if they were going to commit to that alley, and they did. We'll see how XY responds in the next round. So, Nobby, what, what are your thoughts on the deployment of the asteroids here? How did... How do you think that's going to play out through this match? Well, I, th I think the fact that they've got such a big open area where um, XY is heading is going to be in his event in his advantage. Um, just as long as he has, he's able to get an uh, escape route through those rocks. Um, but you can see XY is just going slow, just staying up the top of the corner of his board. He's giving himself lots and lots of room, which is what he wants. And whereas the Wild Wings are now pretty much dictated where they're going to go, and that's partly because of uh, those two big rocks there. Um, but as for mind game, I just want to point out the uh, the pulling the fire alarm at last year's uh, system open. That uh, I don't know if it was XY, the Singapore store, I swear they pulled the fire alarm and really psyched back to out. So, <laughs> no fire alarm here. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, so if uh, if you go back and watch the live stream coverage of. Uh from the Australian system open, there was a fire alarm that went off mysteriously uh, during, was it the top four match or was it actually during the final? It was, it was during the finals. It was during the finals. All right. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> like pretty this approach cool. from the Y-Wings coming in. Ooh. Hearing. Unfortunately, oh. it's still going to be another turn before we actually get shots going off. Mm. Um, the... I mean, just despite it being another turn for shots being close, we are 10 minutes in and it's been about five rounds. So they mm -hmm. are playing at a very, very good pace. 
Yeah, th things will change a little bit once we actually get into the the thick of it because there are 11 ships on the table. And then, then you're going to have to start thinking a little bit more when not all the space can be managed just by you. Um, but yeah, from from my experience, even watching XY play when he was doing the uh, the Vulture Swarm, he does play pretty quick. Uh, I'm not familiar with Samuel Dameron, but he also seems uh, seems to be committing pretty quickly here. By the way, I do want to take a second to say thank you to everybody who subscribed to the channel yesterday and today. I did. I do have another set of uh, stretch goals for us to do. They include some more GSP swag, some more of those Concordon pins, and at the top, I have a district foundry tray that we're going to be giving away if we reach that goal. Go ahead. Nobi, what, what are your thoughts on... Um XY's approach here. Uh, well, I say I like it. He, he went for the open space. That's what he wants. Um, he's keeping his options open. Um, the turrets are all facing now to the left. Um, and I think the, the Wawins, most of those are... Ooh, we saw that one sweep. I like that. Keeping information there. Really nice. Um, the Wawins also have now... Most of them have to go straight. There's two rocks blocking off uh, majority of the two turns. I think green might might be able to fit a two turn in there, but you know I've been known to find my ships on rocks, so don't don't trust me on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think he's committed kind of going straight, and um, I think there's going to be a big biff um, in that in that open space, uh, probably the following turn. Which I can do a bank in, whereas the Y wings can't. So. Definitely favor. I think favors uh, X Y's uh, opening engagement. I think. Yeah, I would probably expect these so, Y wings to to probably just go forward, right? Like they have uh, g trying to turn in here and and change the trajectory seems like a, a bad idea because of the range control that these uh, these Sinar specialists can actually get. Yeah, it's also because of the range of the turret, so they can only shoot at range two. So. And the front, the <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, primary weapon is going to be facing the wrong way, so it is a tough spot for Samuel to be in for his first engagement. I mean, do you just do the rebel mantra of one straight to victory here and just take it slow, force X Y to overcommit and start heading into those rocks? It's a possibility. Um, he could also go very fast, so he clears those rocks, and when he tries to do a bank in, um, if XY doesn't turn, then he might miss the shots altogether. So, find out. Yeah. Yeah. It's choosing violence. And here we go. He is choo he's going into it. There's a three bank. Three forwards fits as well. Probably expecting three forwards from the other ones as well. Yes, continuing suit, taking focus. Trying to give himself a best opportunity to give shots if those aggressors do make a turn in. Oh, yeah. And we have a one bank here from the first set of aggressors. Kind of surprised to see only a one bank from the inside one. One bank from the next. Takes a focus. So we are going to be trading some shots. Green, also one bank. We'd expect the same from yellow and orange. Important thing to note, red Y-Wing has an ion cannon turret. So does the green. Blue is a dorsal turret, but has the primary weapon on there. Yeah. I just like the, the, the sleep that previous turn, man. He didn't have to do the uh, aileron, so it's just a one strike. Keep everything moving nice and slow. Very nice. That seems like a um, practice I, approach. It's very. It's it. X Y is just doing a textbook formation flying. He's he's showing us how it's done. And we're gonna get our first shots here. Yeah, just he's exactly just showing us. Ooh, Captain Fairoff. I'm I'm not sure who's right. Uh, I believe X Y should be shooting first. Yes, Captain Fairoff going first. Range three yep. into the blue Y wing. We'll be going all primaries. One crit. Likely gonna, sp I would spend it. I think you only have one shot coming in. The crit goes down to a hit because of plated hole. Spend the focus. That makes it two. Two dice on defense for this Y wing. Here we go. That's gonna be at least one damage if he doesn't spend the focus. 
Choose to suspend it. One shield on blue. First blood goes to XY. Now, Samuel is the first player, so his Y wings will get so an opportunity one, to check one range first. <laughs> Just quickly, one, one interesting thing about the Y wings is once they become critically damaged, um, that ability ceases to function. And we see a lot of players actually forget that mechanic in, in a lot of games. We sure do. Here is Oof. a nice shot. Had to spend the focus. This is going into the Sloan car uh, carrier, Captain Faroff. No green tokens over there, so automatically able to change one of those dice to an evade and avoids the damage completely. Absolutely fantastic yeah. ability on Faroff. Can one of you boys go ahead and read that off? Yeah. While you defend, if the attacker does not have any green tokens, you may change one of your blank or eye results to an evade. Um, that is a amazing ability. Keep uh, slowing safe and make makes them really choose whether or not to spend those tokens on attack. And... Well, I mean, a as a one agility ship, you're you're always going to want to spend those tokens on attack because um, it means you're always getting at least an one evade. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Next attack coming in. Another one into the blue Y-Wing. One hit. Another range three shot. Remember, no mods on this. Two dice because of range three. And not going to get anything. Still should have two more shots in range. The red and the blue aggressors. XY being sure to go through his dials. And, ooh, blue looks like... Uh, uh, sorry, the red... Tigressor is not going to have range on the blue Y wing going into red to red, red on red violence, and one hit. And one evade. XY is hoping to probably push through at least two more damage here. He did have pretty good positioning on this Y wing. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. That's going to be two hits after spending the focus. Looking for Natty's on the other side. He got one. Honestly, taking only two shields after that initial engagement, I think that is a good trade for Samuel. I do agree. So what, what's the whole calculation here? We've got 29 versus 840. So Samuel has a lot more hull and shield to play with. Um, each of those Y-Wings having eight hull means they are very hard to get down. And they're very hard to crit chain with that ability to just cancel crit results while they're uncritted. Blah, blah, blah. Now, the other thing to note is that those Y-Wings have the option to block um, this turn. I think I just think the one agility is going to be a hindrance against so many two-dice attacks. Mm. So I think uh, damage is to be expected where... As um, Samuel is really going to have to rely on getting those ions um, and bombs to do most of his damage. Uh, I think this, this next turn is going to be really, really interesting. I think he might go go a bit hard with that uh, blue wiring at the front to try and try and get those box off. Um, whereas uh, uh, X Y may actually decide to just turn away and keep the keep the torrents um, shooting to try and prevent any blocking because. Uh, those wirings do only have a limited dial, so where blue can go, uh, it it can it can probably block the reaper, um, but not not all the aggressors, I think. Do you? Oh, uh, and also I don't like how they, they what, the the two wirings at the back though are almost likely to do a bank in as well. So I think uh, if we, I think we can just have more trading shots at range two, um, all from the Torrents, I think. Yeah, one of the, so the just, things, go ahead. Just, go ahead. I was just going to say, just for anyone who's watching who is unfamiliar with the Y wing dial, well, this specific Y wing dial, the only blues on their dial are the one and two straight. So 
once if they, can. yeah, there are, our... yeah, Don't there are our fours, but natively they only have the one two blue straight. One interesting thing about uh, the approach deal. here on the on the Y wings is so that blue Y wing is one of the plasma characters carriers as well as the brown slash orange. So orange will have probably an opportunity to pop off one of those plasmas because that would be useful in this engagement, being able to strip off one of those shields and then get some damage afterwards. Um, but here we go. We see blue getting a target lock out there, and we're gonna likely just going to see some focus tokens out of the other one. It looks like we're going to spread out a little bit at a couple of different angles. You can see red trying to leverage that ion turret. Next target lock. Again, this is another one of those plasma carriers. Both target locks did go on Captain Faroff, trying to push through damage on the Sloan Carrier. That is the correct choice, because that is honestly Ooh. what makes this list. Right. Able and to that skate was a... that. Yes, able to skate that rock. That was beautiful. He <laughs> uh, yeah, should be down do... to 10 places double check, because he thought it was going to hit. Yeah. We do have yellow Y-Wing stealing the orange turret. <laughs> Nick, go ahead oh, and, cool. uh, and and get that get Always that fixed, fun. buddy. And the aggressors are going to be able to get in here. Uh, no blocks. They'll be able to get shots. But we expect a uh, a lot of dice to be thrown. If you guys like dice, here we go. We're about to get eleven sets of shots because these are all initiative twos. Everybody gets to shoot. Faroff goes first, likely not to kill anybody. Let the fireworks oh. begin. This is where that one agility on the Y wings is really going to struggle at range one. Sorry, Dion. What did you need fixed? I'm a little confused. Uh, the yellow Y wings stole the uh, orange Y wings um, turret. So just ah. yeah. It's under the yellow turret. This should be to the left. A new one. Yeah. Yep. All there right, we here we go. <laughs> Captain Faroff is going to start the party off, and we're going into blue. That is one of the plasma carriers, 41 points, one of the more expensive Y-Wings. It begins. Four dice coming in. And we got two crits, two hits. Is he going to choose oh. violence? That is the... That was a... Reroll. Spending the focus. Crit to, crit to hit. Ah, uh, yes. I think he just pressed the wrong button is what happened there. <laughs> All right. And no results there. Hit, hit. This one is going to be a crit there. Because only the first crit gets changed. And we have a fuel leak on that Y-Wing. Half points. Would you like to see? Um, that blue Y wing is not going to be able to fire his plasma torpedo this turn either, um, because they are range two to three. Correct. Here we go. Next shot. The Y wings begin their barrage into Faroff. First one. Three eyeballs. Faroff is going to get an auto evade. Spending the target lock from the plasma torpedo. Oh. Only got a single result. That is in instantly negated because of Faroff's ability. Hoof. Faroff looking like a G out there. What damage? Not today. We'll find out which shot's coming in next. Blue. Going to take a range one shot again. Like we just pointed out, no plasma torpedo. This is just going to be the primary weapon because Faroff's in range one. Three dice. Got three hits. Got eight. All right. Actually has to roll a result here. I love that XY is just placing the dice down. Yep. <laughs> that, that ability, very solid. Did take two shields. All right, next Y-Wing. Here comes the the green bomber. Range one going into the blue. 
Ty Aggressor got three hits, Ooh. able to hold on to that focus. Very nice. Spends a focus, takes one shield. That is the first aggressor to take damage in X-Way squad. It's pretty funny looking at their approach because my brain keeps looking at the other opposite sides of the table than they actually are on when you're looking for <laughs> looking for um, for the, the the cards and the health. But here we go. Next Y wing coming up. We have the yellow. And we're going to continue the barrage into the TIE Aggressor, range 2, using the Dorsal Turret, only one crit. Has already spent the focus, so going to need to get in Natty Evade. He's got it. We'll see who's next. Was, was there a reason why three dice were rolled there with the Dorsal Turret? Or was that a... That's was it three? A ion, ion, ion Cannon. Ion. ion Cannon. Yeah, sorry, just said the wrong wrong weapon there. False. Ions. <laughs> False advertising. <laughs> Here we go. Red taking an ion cannon shot. And that's going to be four. Does he have a focus? Ionized. Yeah. One die. Auto change to an evade, so this is going into fair off. So that's one damage and two ion tokens. That means that we're going to have fair off being ionized next turn. No ailerons as well, important to know, because that can only happen if you have a dial. Hang on. I'm just trying to double check which ships have the proton bombs. Red, the yellow, and the green, and I think um, bomb drops this. Well, assuming that they're still alive, um, bomb drops will be uh, definitely in the foreseeable future. All right, I, I think we're going to continue into blue here. Only one hit at range one, primary weapon. Thank you, Xpav, for your chant in the chat. <laughs> and that's going to be and a that's, damage. That's it. Yes, uh, no, yes, like it is because dead. of the fuel leak. Because of the fuel leak, it oh, is gone. Yes. Fuel leak triggers and into a direct hit. Super dead. First Y wing off the table. So this is actually quite of quite the thing of note because he's able to clear one Y wing with only the first tie aggressor. He still has four ships left to fire. He's going to be able to probably take another one uh, down to at least half. We'll find out what he gets here. He's got. Uh, three to four more shots left. Here comes Blue. Has a couple of range one shots. Now remember, ships are not removed from the table until after the end of the initiative step. We're still in initiative two. So this is going into green. Range one, one hit. No damage there. Yes, uh, there's a couple people in the chat asking about the Y-Wing's ability. Once a Y-Wing has received a crit, the ability is turned off. And it only does one crit per uh, per attack, being able to turn it to a hit. So previously there was two crits in there. One got changed to a crit to hit. Uh, and then, of course, that other crit did go through. All right, primary weapon. We have a range two shot onto the red Y-Wing. Let's find out what happens. Two dice, one crit, changes to a hit. Next, so I'm hoping to get some damage out of this attack. Here comes the defense. He is going to get it. He's got two more left. Here comes red. Looking at options, he didn't get any damage onto red, but red doesn't have a token, so that's why the shot is there. That's going to be two hits. How many get through? Both. Two shields down on the red Y-Wing. And last but not least, green has choices. We'll continue into red. Focus fire is the plan there. After spending the focus, that's going to be two hits. 
And that Y wing's taking one more. That shields down. All right, so let's let's talk about these bombs, gentlemen, because I think they are going to be important in this upcoming planning phase. So the only bomb that I can see actually hitting the Tie Reaper is Reds. Um, I'm not not sure you spend the bomb on yellow, but it may maybe we'll see green green drop a bomb and just try to catch all of those um, aggressors that are heading forward. Yeah, I think I agree. I think he'll just drop the one on the red, um, but he still also needs to remove the reaper um, before he can really start taking out those tie aggressors. Mm -hmm. So uh, I. He can't also, he doesn't want to block three people to try and drop the bomb. I think that doing the, the, the proxy damage, uh, the the critical damage on the Reaper would probably be more valuable than um, lining up the block. Uh, he's also then, he's also going to be worried about the yellow and orange because they're going to be, he'd have to fight pretty hard to avoid that. Uh, I think I think also um, XY is going to in, in, anticipate the, the bombs being dropped and he's going to he may even just opt to um, just go slow and uh, accept any bumps that happen and finish off another wiring. But because X Y has all the times in, in ideal spot to continue firing on red, um, whereas uh, the uh, Samuel's uh, torrents are all facing kind of the wrong way. So I don't um, know what. Uh... I, I could also see X Y taking a two or three hard and just turning all of those dorsal turrets on. Getting all of those dorsal, dorsal turrets on target without getting behind the Y wings, because yeah. the Y wings are moving first. Yeah, I would, I would, I would say that he would he would try to probably, if possible, try to avoid doing the um, uh, doing the rotate just because it does cost you an action. Um, because one of the things I just really like is this the blue. Um, uh, the blue aggressor turning out here was able to keep that dorsal turret pointed in that direction. He does have some space where the Y-Wings would have to work really hard to actually block the aggressors from just turning to the right and being able to fire in that direction. Exactly. And they've got two and three hards that would allow him to potentially get out without being blocked. Yeah, absolutely. So. Finally, I think uh, XY has nailed that opening engagement, and the the first the first two rounds have definitely been in XY's favour, um, and that's just in that really good position. It keeps his options open. Uh, so, so no, yeah. Nobby, do you think this all boils down to the all important turn zero, um, where Sam deployed on his right hand board edge and sort of cut, forced himself into a narrow field of engagement? Oh, we got our first bomb drop right here. Proton bomb coming from red. Doing more. He's doing more. He's carpet bombing. All right. We, we are just going to tuck. I think, right, what he's worried about is the K-turns going over. If uh, XY was willing to do the K-turns, that would land those aggressors right there on a bunch of those bombs. I don't know if he would, but, uh, you know, he's better better to try to use those bombs. You do have two charges, and if it works out, it works out. All right, so we have some mo motion here. We're going to take that three bank. Interesting move there from that yellow Y wing. That actually might block fair off out of range of the Wrong bomb. Thing I said. Yeah. We'll find out. I mean, yellow does have a shield, so worst comes to worst, you only lost a shield. You might be able to get a crit under fair off. It's it's close though. I think you might still take it. I think what he was going for is if he gets the block, he's got range one shots from everything. Um, and that would allow him to just try and get that tie Reaper off the board this turn. Um, he was covering the 4k turns, so 
just tr- to try to punish where he's weakest this coming turn. He's effectively given up uh, free damage for free. Mm. Possibly denied. Possibly denied that Reaper from from taking that uh, damage as well. Um, so to stop that focus. All right, so we're going to get some bumping here from the yellow and the brown tie aggressor. Red and green did clear it after doing the one straight. One straight, definitely one of those sneaky moves. It's interesting how how often a one straight is the best move in a situation when a more complicated one uh, probably feels better. But one straight, getting them some shots, but of course no actions on yellow or brown. That bomb is in fact going to hit the TIE Reaper. So that's going to be a crit under the shields. Let's find out what's in the box. That's a structural damage, guys. That matters. <laughs> that completely nullifies Fairoff's ability. You can't use that ability if you don't have any dice to change. So that is bad. The defensiveness of Fairoff has gone way down. That bomb doesn't. The second one doesn't hit um, any of the Y wings. We did yeah. also see the brown Y wing lose a shield uh, and the yellow Y wing lose a shield from that bomb as well. Yeah. But that it's that was in range. Yeah. It is. It, if you scroll in it is not actually clipping anything. Um so that may be a judge call, depending on how you guys are ruling TTS. But that that structural damage was the literal perfect crit that he could have gotten. Because it oh, almost yeah, guarantees Bombs that, um, out. yeah. Uh, are they going to be pausing time to judge, call a judge on that, or? Bomb is They in. are requesting a judge. I am the judge. Bomb is in. Okay. <laughs> Bomb is in? Yep. Bomb is in. The line is correct. Per... Okay, following the line. Okay. Yep. All right, here we okay. go. But yeah, I I would I would hate to see this tie reaper not going down this turn. So keep in mind he's going to only have he's got three shots coming in, and. Um, Red is also the ion, so um, it's limited to damage. Mm. Hit crit from the first shot of this Y wing. That's going to be hit, hit crit on that F Captain Faroff. Yep. Hit, hit crit. Uh, chat, oh. Crazy Vulcan explained to me that the lines measure to the base. Don't look at the visual of the yellow circle. Uh, it says the line, if the line is there, we're going to go it. We're going to go with it. So I'm just following from what the devs told me. It says it doesn't measure to the nubs. It said they got fixed. Let us move on. I love you. Let's continue. So that was only a hit crit. There was no reroll there. Okay. So hit crit. Was a damage insurer right on the crit. Yellow also has a ion cannon. Ch he's choosing to fire at the range one shot at yellow. And four more hits going into the next aggressor. He's on us. <laughs> yes. Uh, two times <laughs> over. <laughs> Only going one forward. We're hoping to see the last three damage go into Captain Faroff this turn. Yeah, 
He needs two hits. Here we go. Two, two hits, hits coming in. Got him. Uh, he does have the hull upgrade, so he still needs one more damage. I missed that. I missed that. Ooh. Yeah. But Fair he off, does have a range thick. one. Still got does have a range in. one ion token. That's right. And you, you only fire needs that. one hit. <laughs> he only needs one hit on four red dice. And that's going to do it. That's going to do it because of the structural damage. Now, let's... Oh, my gosh. The, the structural damage crit absolutely crippling. Absolutely crippling XY. So, he had that and he just he just died. He didn't yep. have that crit. There was anything else. Yeah. He would have uh, two, two to three more health. Two to three more health easily. But that, that's what happens. Crits do bad things to your ships. Now XY is going to have to do the work with the aggressor chassis without the help of the um, <laughs> of uh, Sloan. Here we go. One hit from going into that first Y-Wing. This is into the orange one. Got the evade. Blue is done. Next aggressor. Up on the docket, likely to be red, but could go also with one of the unmodded ones first. Nope, he's going to go with green. Range one. <laughs> Sub Hedgehog, I'm a fan. Here we go. One of each. Got some trail mix. Spends a focus for two. We'll be getting at least one through on the orange bomber. It's going to get both. Shields are down. Takes it a card. That's going to be half points. XY is ahead now, 60 to 62. Still has a couple of ships to go. Here comes yellow, range one. Going to try to clear that ship off the board. Only wow. one crit. It does turn it down. Because of the Y-Wing's plated hull ability. Another card. Down to three hull. Still has one shot left. Could put him away with a big hit. With some uh, direct hit action. We'll see if we get it. This is in range one, another single one. I mean, that is uh, that is the expected result. With three dice and no mods, one hit is going to get another one through. I mean, very average, very average rolls. And red is up next. Sorry, I did miss that one. That one is left. Yeah. So has a shot to uh, to get him off the board here. Range one, hit crit, oh. spend the focus, guaranteed. Oh, guaranteed. That is absolutely massive, being able to take a ship off the board. 60 to 62, two Y-wings are down. That means we have three ships versus five. This is going to be an old, good old-fashioned rodeo now. No special effects, just ships. We've still, got, we've still got a couple of bombs in play. Yeah. The only Y-Wings that have actually been destroyed are the um, torpedo bombers. Uh, uh, the torpedo Y-Wings. Blah. <laughs> so, I imagine we may see three more proton bomb drop, bombs dropped this turn. Um, with yellow being ionized, that could just... Flat out remove yellow. Well, yellow still has how much damage? We still got. We still got we still hull. With three crits coming in because he's only doing a one straight. Uh, yes, but I think I think you'll take two crits. I don't think red. Yeah, the red. Oh yeah, I could see all three bombs hitting. Okay. Yeah. It could be very sad. Very sad. Sad, sad aggressor noises. <laughs> so, <laughs> 
So X X Y here. What his path to victory is just to try to get as many range one shots onto the Y wings each turn and just try to take them down one at a time. Um, Nobby, how, how do you see the Y wings pulling this through? Well, with those, this one drop this turn, there's going to force those uh, tigresses to, you know, get out of there. Um, we might see him spread them out because they do actually move after the Y wing. So. Now XY can employ, you know, repositioning because they do have the barrel roll um, to just, just play the range game. He's going to try and focus for another one down. Um, he does have red that is shields down. So that's, his, you know, he needs just one more damage on that to score a bit more points. But it's going to be, I think we're just going to see a little bit of conservative play by XY. I mean, especially the fact that uh, he's going to lose yellow if um, just from the, from the bomb drop this round. So uh, it's still anyone's game. Uh, just because the is going to be playing with four aggressors versus three wild wings. So I still think the one agility mean damage is going to get through. So Yeah. I, I would have been much more confident in Samuel's ability to win this if he didn't lose a wild wing last turn. I agree. Huge. Now, there are some people who are disagreeing with you. Uh, I know that the Y wings are pretty thick, but uh, one, of the, one of the big differences, I think, in this whole thing is going to be how can Samuel leverage his advantage of the ion weapon that only does one damage a turn. That's the difference there. Can he leverage the ability versus the turret that XY has that actually deals damage? That's correct. Hmm. Chat, what do you what do you guys think right now? I want I want to I want to dish it out to the chat here. Who do you think? And you just give me you can say player one, player two, or or, or the the player's first name. Who do you think actually has the advantage right now? Who do you think has the tools to actually bring it home? All right. Oh. Seems like most people are going for X Y. Here we go. You know what? We actually... What am I doing? We have the technology. Give me a second. We can use a <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. There's a poll. One or two. One for Samuel, two for XY. Who has the advantage right now? Who do you think has the momentum in this game? Who's going to take it home? One or two. Just type the number. Very simple. Even if you're not a, a, a all-the-time chatter... Just uh, just drop us a number. Not your number. I mean, I'd call you if you want me to, but... I'll take you up on that offer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. coming in, I think. Oh, <laughs> I get enough junk calls. Wow, fine. You know what? You know what? <laughs> just for, just for that, just for that, I should I should give away a phone call with Dion Morales. I should give that away yes. just just to spite that person and 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 mark them as uneligible to win. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love how many phone numbers you're getting here. <laughs> <laughs> Call me, baby. Okay. So, dials are set and we are seeing bombs dropped. Here we go. All the bombs. Can't do good night, moon. <laughs> I, I just keep thinking of the um, Simpsons skit with Christopher Walken reading it. Good night, mm -hmm. Moon. <laughs> Good night, <laughs> Spoon, or whatever it is. <laughs> but no, we are seeing... It looks like Red is not dropping a bomb this turn. Not dropping a bomb. We did, bomb. Get the yeah. we did get the yellow drop. And the green drop. Yep. So we'll see where these uh, aggressors... You know, XY might just disengage. He has that option. Remember, these aggressors do have access to the barrel roll action as well as the linked action barrel roll into evade. Not sure the evades are going to matter if they zoom 
far past just because of the range of the weapons. But um, XY does have the space to maneuver if he really wants it. Mm. He also has a point lead too. So, oh, Ooh. no. Ooh, it's okay. Well, first bump. Well, at least, you know what? That's going to be out of range most likely of the bomb. It's close. That one is going to be taking it. So bye-bye shield on green. But at least, you know what? Has a shield available. Well, it's going to be taking two. So Ooh, there is one under the I, red. I, I forgot yep. about that. Good eye. Good eye. I red to so aggressor. That, uh, so doesn't take, that, take both of them. Ooh, I'm, su I'm surprised that he, noises. that he doesn't barrel roll there because he's choosing to take two of them right now. Well, if he barrel rolls, he loses a shot. If he bar <laughs> that's going to be real sad when you take a weapons failure or something like that. I, 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 mm, mm. I think he just wants to, he wants to get, while he's got the numbers, he wants to do, try and do a focus fire. Yeah. And, um, just exchange shots while he's got the numbers. So, because he can soften up another one. These bomb drops are just phenomenal. All right, we'll take a peek here. Looks like we have range to green and yellow. So, shield and a shield there. Go ahead and clear this pole out right That's now. Crits on three of them. That is an effective proton bomb. Let's see what's on the first one. The red tie aggressor getting a fuel leak. Yellow tie aggressor, wounded pilot. Possible stress after taking actions. And damage engine increasing the difficulty of those hard turns on to the green tie aggressor. So one away from half points on all of them. Well, not on all of them. On, uh, on green, yellow, and red. So next turn, he can still drop another proton bomb from yellow and red. If he really wants to. He's out. All right, Samuel's opportunity now to continue the damage race. Has a range one shot into the yellow tire aggressor. Four dice because of the range. Hoping to push through an ion as well. And with dice like that, you probably end up getting it. Is he willing to spend the focus to guarantee it? Actually, you know, he's, he's probably already got it. And yes, he does. One damage and an ion. Yellow down to two hull. It looks like the yellow that's, that's Y-Wing correct. might be up next. Yes. Going to continue probably the focus fire into yellow. No, no, <laughs> sir. He's going into green now. Looks like he wants to ionize everybody. He's getting a little greedy maybe with those ion cannons. He's well, got he one still clip. has he still has bombs, so. That's well, true. I think he, he will. Oh, and he takes it. There's yep. another one. He's going to take one more damage on green and ion. And like you noted, the yellow Y-Wing does still have one proton bomb in the tank, and <laughs> they're going to be ionized right into that. Last Y-Wing up, doing some work. This is the green one and has equipped a dorsal turret. So this is going to be... Oh, what? Uh, do I have that incorrect? Did I look at the wrong one? I may have. I'm a liar. It was an ion cannon. They are all three are ions. On. These are the ion fam. But Didn't get anything there. Damage. Not too bad. So, before we get shots, I, I am a little bit surprised that Samuel didn't try to track the three ships that turn, um, knowing that green could only shoot yellow. Yeah, most he decided likely... to start with red. Yeah, mo most likely it's just you, you. He started with the wrong ship, and then as soon as he started with the wrong ship, he was out of, out of the opportunity, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. All right, here we go. We'll begin the dorsal turrets from the tie aggressors. 
Has range one to green, range two to red. Probably considering where right. he has the best chance of actually trying to get half points, and that is on the red Y wing. Doesn't get anything there because he was not able to complete his maneuver, so no actions. Now, after not getting any damage there, he's got to make a decision on where he actually wants to go. He's got range one to both these ships. And he's going to be going yellow. into yellow. One crit. This makes sense as the yellow Y-Wing doesn't have any tokens right now. That's going to be a shield. We'll have two more range one shots coming in. Both of these do have focus. Here we go. Red Aggressor. Trying to push through some damage here. Three dice. That's going to be hit. Hit. Uh, hit. After spending the focus. Yeah, don't, don't forget you brought those tokens, XY. <laughs> there you go. He's going to get at least two. And gets two. That's a shield and a card. That's half points on the yellow Y-Wing. So was able to get half. Still ahead, 88 to 102. And not going to be able to put away this Y-Wing most likely, but should be able to get it to two or three hull. Another range one shot. Nice punch there at the end. Three hits. Going to get at least two more. 30-something odd percent. Able to get it. Two more damage cards on there. Now, my question to the chat before we bring back our Gundarks is I'm going to put up that poll. After seeing this engagement, has your opinion changed? Oh, we got one more shot from downtown? No, he's out of range, right? Range right. one to two. Yep. So the poll is back up. Who do you think has the momentum after seeing that engagement? We do seem to have a lot of XY fanatics in the chat, which is really nice to see. Oh, a lot of people going back to one now. Yeah, the poll has uh, shifted. Has shifted. I, I I wonder how much different this game would be if he had managed to get yellow off the board. Because that is a big, big thing for XY, not being able to get it off. Oh, well... One, the next turn, he's too low targets to take bombs, but I think he can actually activate yellow first and cause a, a self bomb. So it's only really green that's going to take that on the um, the bomb. Uh, actually, no, yellow's still going. No, yellow's going to take it no matter what. So those two, the, the red one, the one you got to watch out for is the fuel leak because they, he really does not want to get hit by that proton bomb. It's likely um, that Brown may also just get clipped by it. If if, if yellow if yellow bombs. Yeah. Wait. And uh, was green that got yeah. Green got the um damaged engines. Yeah, green's got damaged engines, so he's but he's he's not he's not doing a turn this turn, because he's iron He's just doing a one strike. No, I know. That's why I was double checking who had it. Yeah. And uh, yellow with wounded pilot means if he does take his action, he could potentially be stressed. Um, so unfortunately, I think yellow is out of the fight this turn. Green is also probably very sad. That's aggressor noises. Yeah. <laughs> but I think Green's still going to be out. What does an aggressor sound like? I have no idea. <laughs> All we know is they they've got a sad sad tone. Is a bomb drop? Yeah, I I like this because red red is the only carrier that still has bombs now. <laughs> Just doing an orbit. It, it right. could be angry aggressor noises. You are. <laughs> that's what you guys are saying. <laughs> 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 
So All right, we're, we're going to see those ions do some work here. Yeah, one, one other thing to note. Brown, if Brown doesn't turn, he may actually get ionized off the board over the next few turns. Mm -hmm. Brown, Brown's going to turn. Mm. There's nothing stopping him from turning. Yeah. No, there, there isn't, but... Oh, hang on. Yeah. I think he's trying to do the one straight there. Yeah, yeah he doesn't it move. Hasn't moved. Little tactical bump there. No, no. The yellow, but the green also didn't move. It should have moved at least a little bit forward. All right, they'll solve it. They're, yeah, they're, they're, they're big boys. They got it. They got it. Give them a sec. All right. And the turn oh, no. is there. Oh. Red's, Red's eating that with that, repairing oh. the fuel leak. Okay. Yep, immediately. Immediately. Action. Don't. Action is not taking the bonus damage. All right. Takes a focus. And here's that proton bomb. The value, the absolute value on the proton bomb, Samuel is getting every penny worth. Disable power regulator. <laughs> Taking an ion token. This he didn't even have to shoot it. Another fuel leak. And last but not least on the green, a direct hit. Green is gone. I mean, you expected it. You knew it was going to happen. There was too many crits to happen to not see a direct hit at some point. There we go. F's in the chat for the green aggressor. And red's going to be eating another crit next turn. Because red, the red Y-Wing's just going to drop a bomb. Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but it is being a slugfest here. It has... It has definitely been... It's been a very interesting match as we've gone through. Just trading um, blows and blows both t all turns. How the game would have been different if um, that Thai Reaper hadn't got that structural damage, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would have completely changed the game. But here we go. We have Pew Pew's time. Range 1, Ion Cannon Turret... That's four. So that's a damage and an ion. Just take it. Take it. You can roll for fun, but that's... That's a destroyed yellow. He's gone. Just needed one more damage. He will be able to fire back because of simultaneous fire. So now Samuel has to make some smart choices on where he wants to shoot next. Yes, choosing red. Red right now has two hull left. This is another ion cannon turret blast. And spends a focus. It's going to take one damage and an ion. So that red is going to lose agency one more time. Forced to go one forward. Luckily, of course, he doesn't have the door. <laughs> yeah. He had to have this have regulated. It was going to be on eyes anyway. So. <laughs> But I think what we're going to probably see is green shooting at, or um, red shooting, whoever hasn't shot yet, uh, at red as well, and just try to get him off the board as well. I mean, he has an opportunity to just kill the red, um, uh, the red tie aggressor as well. I think that's probably the shot to take, just get his shit off the board. Yeah, definitely the shot to take. <laughs> But he's I, not taking it. I think he's okay. relying on the bomb. I think yeah, that's a little greedy. It's a little greedy. Two hits. Well, red, red still has a bomb. So ah, okay. And but I mean, red has a. Is he gonna actually go? Two. In the code. That's that. What did I say? Yellow. Green does not have a bomb left. The only one that does is red. 
Oh. <laughs> One hit. Sorry. Oh, uh. Ah, not going to get any damage there. He isn't a chance to kill Yellow this turn, so it's going to be two wild wings on. Um, two aggressors with one smoking. All need to be bombed next turn. Yeah, so the control element of the ion cannon really coming into play. You know, when we gave the, the quick poll to the audience saying, right, who do you think has the momentum? I think most people were just looking at the number of ships, but we saw right there the leverage of the ion cannon. One crit gets turned down to a hit. This is going into the yellow bomber. It's the most hurt one. Yeah, Spends a lock. Ooh, hit crit. That crit does stay because he did modify one already. And taking and both could be bad. That is Console fire before you engage, roll a die on a hit, take a damage. That's what he needed. He's dead. Did you get them all? It's now two, two v two. Oh, he sure and did. Yeah, one, two, have... three, four, five. Correct. Yeah. Yellow bomber is gone. Next shot, range pew, one pew. with that dorsal turret. Just one into the red Y-Wing, and we'll be able to spend the focus to avoid the damage. Samuel is still ahead, though, 130 to 121. Those Y-Wings being more expensive is right now aiding Samuel and holding on to the lead, but we still have a couple more shots left. Last one from XY. Two dice dorsal turret, just one hit. This is still going into red and is going to be taking the damage. And that's half points. That brings now XY ahead 130 to 141. Lots of trading back and forth here. This is coming down to the wire. We've got to remember, though, red, red tie aggressor is dead. Um, red tie aggressor. Oh, it is it is dead. Oh, never mind. Score 144 to 141, fam. It, it, oh. It's not, it's not no, dead not yet, yet, not yet, but not when yet, the bomb yet. drops... <laughs> When the bomb, well, if, I have to say, if the bomb drops, because the player still has to remember. You're assuming that they're going to remember to drop the bomb. That is that is completely fair. Yep. So <laughs> let, let's not let's not kill him yet. He still. You're saying there's a chance. The answer is yes. There's a chance. There's a, there's always a chance. I mean, Vector needs to finish off uh, one more Y wing. We'll get half on the other one. Green yeah. has not had any damage. Yeah, he's completely healthy. So he's probably going to want to continue. I mean, he, he doesn't have to continue shooting red. He could, could could just go after green with the orange and the blue. Because right now he needs to get another half point. So Thing he's is, a very close um, The proton bomb is also going to probably force a damage onto orange. If he wants to stay on target, as, as, as Dion said, assuming it drops. But you know, I I'm not entirely convinced that the bomb would be in range. To be completely honest, a mm. one forward with the angle that the Y wing is at, because you have to you remember you you have to add that one straight out the back. I I'm I'm not convinced. It's I think it's close. But I think there's still still a chance it could miss. Oh, look at it this way: the red um, the red tie aggressor is going to move one forward. The bomb is also going to be dropped at one back. So it's literally the same distance to what the tie aggressor is now to the Y wing. The bomb is going to be in that same position as the Y wing is in perspective to the tie aggressor. So we saw that before the tie aggressor was range one in shots. So. Him doing one straight was going to land in range one where the bomb is. True. True, true, true. You are correct there. And remember, the only action that an ionized ship can take is a focus. X, Y, flip. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no bear rolls. <laughs> All right. I see some, flip some flip flopping over there. Here we go. He's saying my body is ready. Drop the bomb. He did Here not it forget. is. He did not. 
Pop, pop. Now he does have the option to possibly do a tactical bump with orange. Don't forget about that. He could hold red back. He did not. He flew forward. One straight. Takes a target lock. Ooh. Oh, this, this might be the savior attempt. This might be it right here. Barrel roll to the right, maybe? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I like it. Look at this play. Oh. It's beautiful. We'll get the ion move next. And taking the evade with the linked action. There it is. Very nice. He is going to be taking a crit on blue. But uh, that's not quite half points as long as it's not a double damage. And it is a loose stabilizer. So he's going to have to, he's going to be forced to go straight next turn. That is, a, that is a very good trade, though. Because he keeps that ship on the board and he's one more to the guns. And oh, look wait, at that. No the red Y-Wing has no shots. Only one. This is massive. Because even if this Y-Wing kills the red tie aggressor, the red tie aggressor was able to absorb a second shot and might even have a chance to do damage. Here we go. Only one hit coming in. Two from the Ion Cannon Turret. Didn't get the natties he needed. He will be taking the damage. So we will lose red, but red gets an opportunity to respond and looks like we'll probably have uh, at least two shots into one of those Y-Wings. Where is he going to go? I'm assuming he's going to go into red. Well, keep in mind, too, that he only needs to get three damage on green now to get half points on green. So he took the, he took the proton bomb. Oh, he did take the proton bomb. So one less shield on green, Nick. Yeah. He's, it looks like he's going for red to try and get him off the board. No, no, he's... I see yep, going on the for green. Yeah, no, he's going for green. So he only needs to get three damage through, and then he gets the point from green versus the four he needs to remove red. All right, missed that shot. Orange will be out of range because it's only range one to two. Yep, he took a target lock because he knew he wasn't going to get a shot this turn. Focus. And just one hit. Remember, evade. he took an evade because of the uh, the barrel roll gotcha. linked action. That's another shield. Two away to get half. And we will have another turn. So there, there is. Really so uh, I'm looking at some of the options here. If we look at the math. Half points, uh, if you get half points on on the blue tie aggressor and half points on the green Y-wing, I believe XY would be ahead, if I'm not mistaken. If he can get half points on the green Y-wing, he would. But if he get loses half points on either of the two remaining, it may not. What's the point no, well, difference? I think, I think what he's saying is that in the next trade, if... Blue gets half pointed. Sammy will go up in points, but if he gets half, if X Y gets half the two extra damage on green, the points yep. he loses will be made up by the points that green net. So, yeah, it's um it's going to come down to this turn. And um, Samuel actually has the options to just run away this turn. None of the tie aggressors are pointing in the right direction. Blue is stressed. So. Hmm, it's, and he has loose stabilizer too, so if he does do a turn in... That's half points. That yeah. <laughs> I think you have to. I think you just have to turn yeah, in. I think you have to as well. And this is where we're seeing the range of those ion, um, ion uh, turrets coming into play as well. I oh, don't. They're only one to two. What am I thinking of? Ion cannons. There we go. Does take a damage. Yep, Once we get a range of five. Oh, right. Huh. So he did that in order to lose the stress and probably also get in a better position to take a shot. He has the barrel roll open, 
If he wants to try to do the uppercut with the range one, he is going to take the barrel roll. I believe it's still in, in the arc. Orange will have to barrel roll That's to get a shot. Going to be Did very he... close. And then it makes us roll. Is it what we want? You have to barrel roll. You must. The, the bear, there it is. Didn't link to uh, evade for that one in the last turn. He's trying to bait him into shooting. She's trying to bait him into shooting it. Shoot me. Shoot me. I well, have to evade. The thing is, he can't true. actually deal the damage to get half points or kill. Ah, this the is amount very of true. You're correct. So this shot doesn't actually really matter. Oh, wait, no. That's not true. That's not true because the red might have range two. You got, you, you, we don't red know that. Red does not have range two. No, nope, we've did already he, checked. Red. You checked it? Did I miss it? Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, you're right. I see right there three. in the chat. Range three. So here we go. It comes down to XY being able to push through two damage on this green Y wing. Green Y wing has a focus. One out of the box. We'll get re roll for that. And that's Ooh. two hits. A blank here will end the game. Nope. All right. One away. This this is coming down to the wire. Last shot. Three dice unmodified. He does. And that target lock does not trait. belong to this one as well. Here we go. Whiffs oh. on the attack. That is all she wrote. Congratulations, Samuel, winning oh. 158 to 141. Wow. Such a close guy. Excellent. Well, really well played. Fantastic. That... Needed just um, do we one know? Hole. What's do up? we know where Sam's from? Is Sam an Aussie or I'm I'm not entirely sure. But um, he 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 played with the strength of an Aussie, that's what I know. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> he right, he played like the pride of Australia was on the line. There you go. So, um, XY eliminated from the top 16.